Arnold Allen's first UFC main event didn't end in the manner he would have liked an injury TKO over Calvin Cater in Saturday's headliner in Las Vegas, but a win is a win, and in Arnold Allen's case, he has 10 straight of them to begin his UFC career. Just the second featherweight in UFC history to start 10-0 inside that octagon. A very impressive feat. The only other one to do it, the current champ, Alexander Volkanovsky. So you can see where this could potentially be headed coming out of here. Is Allen ready for a title shot? Does this type of win where the opponent suffers an injury, a potentially blown out knee, uh, does that change the game in terms of whether this really should elevate him into that shot? And of course, the complex part of it is Alexander Volkanovsky likely moving up to challenge Islam Makachev for a second belt at lightweight, likely in February in Australia. How long would he need to be ready after that to come back down and do a featherweight title defense? Just a lot of unknowns in this situation right now. Allen, if he does not get the title shot, probably an interim title shot or at the very least a title eliminator. And when I look at how things are kind of lining up right now, if the UFC does this event in England, a potential stadium show, uh, something massive in the UK for Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman 3, they're going to want some more local fighters, some more juice on there. And I think Allen, potentially in an interim title fight against Yair Rodriguez, a Josh Emmett, would make a lot of sense at this point, I think. So I would expect to see him on that card in March. It's just a matter of what are the stakes going to be. I don't think he's going to be fighting Volkanovski next, so the next best thing would be an interim title fight. But nevertheless, Allen in a great position, proved he is worthy of being in this top five. And no matter what happens for Arnold Allen, the future for him is very bright and something big is coming his way after this main event win over Cater.